Hi everyone, Liam Magpie here and today we're going to look at the new Jurassic World Primal Attack Massive Bike Biter Psychosuchus. This looks absolutely awesome. I actually bought this from Amazon um, but it didn't say it was going to turn up till February and then I started looking on Smith's um, Superstars and all of a sudden they started putting these out but I went into my Smith's website and I saw that there wasn't on online and um, but I thought I'd just ask them if they had any in the back but then I, when I got there there was all there so I picked up this amazing um, crocodile yesterday and it looks absolutely amazing it was £26 and I will link it in the description box down below don't get fooled by the website just go in and ask it because that will be the best way I am going to send the other one back off as I did buy nearly the full line of the new primal ones from smith's um i was really lucky i was really excited i felt like it was my birthday and christmas all at once um so that's just a pre um like a heads up for that and yes yeah, so reviews will be coming up soon with a lot of jurassic world content and there was like two i think what wasn't in smith and because I spent uh, quite a bit of money yesterday, I am going to send this one back when it turns up today from Amazon. It was a bit funny that I tried cancelling it, but it was meant to only come in February. But now all of, all of a sudden when I message them to say, no, it's going to be tomorrow. So they need to try and sort out the estimate deliveries on Amazon. So, yeah. There isn't much more I can say. I'm going to stop waffling on and I'm going to start going on to the packaging. So the packaging overall is the same as all the other Primal Attacks. You get the um, action fi um, the, fi the figure in action there and it's for Forum Plus. It's a massive biter and then there is the name. The um, packaging is in like a sunset theme. Um with lovely oranges and reds and um like like brownie colours and then you've got the fencing in the background which looks really cool. You can look at the figure and everything before you um buy it. So that's really good and look at the paint where I can see if it looks good and then you can see that it's got a button there and then This is the back of the box. It looks absolutely awesome. You get to see the figure in action there, moving its head side to side. It's got chomping action and you use it by swiveling the tail. And I don't think this one has sound and then it's compatible with the Jurassic World Facts app. So I will show you the scan code during the video. And then this is one of the other figures I got from Smiths as well. So they're finally out for us in the UK. And then there's just another picture of the amazing crocodile. Um, yeah, and obviously I am going to start seeing its name now throughout the video. But yeah, that's all I can say about the packaging. You can finally get your hands on these in Smiths. Um, just don't be fooled by the website. And without further ado, I'm going to get this amazing figure out of the packaging. So everyone, I've got the Psychosuchus out of the packaging and it looks absolutely incredible. The sculpt, the pin, the articulation, the size, it just looks absolutely amazing. So we're going to look up at its face first, up close. So as you can see, it's got that lovely painted yellow eye and it's got no blemish at all. It's got this elongated jaw which goes from wide to thin to wide again at the end. The scales, it's got really lovely scale detailing and sculpt detailing throughout the face. Some really nice textures there. I can't get over how amazing this figure looks, so you're going to wear that a lot. Um, just some nice um, scale detailing going around the jaw here. And then the teeth are really nicely done. I like how they go from like, some go from small, then they go from large. They're quite sharpish as well. 
Um, other figures have been quite blunt, but this one's quite sharpish. Um, and they look real jaggedy. They look different um, variations of sizes. And then at the front of the jaw, it's got a tiny bit of a blemish there, but they look really cool as well. And then this is the inside of the mouth, the ridge of the mouth. That looks really nicely done. <clears throat> and then this is the tongue. That's nicely painted and sculpted as well. It's got a really nice sheen to it. And this is going to look awesome for photography. And then we've got the um back here and it's got some really lovely scale detailing going throughout the back as well i like the way it pebbles down its back like that and same goes down the tail looks really cool i love these spikes as well the spikes look really nice they're nicely sculpted they've got some nice ridges in in the spikes to make them just look that bit more realistic and the color overall is this really nice like chocolatey brown and then the sad is like like a like a moss green like it's really hard to describe it's like a moss green swampish green perfect for the dinosaur he is and then it's got some really nice scale detailing on the legs here. And scale detailing on the sides of its tummy, tummy. And it's even got a bit of muscle definition and a little bit of fold in its um, sides there. And underneath the belly, it's followed through with this smooth, with a little bit of texture on the belly. I love, I love the way the brown goes like dark brown, then it pebbles into a little bit of, like it scatters into this little bit of splatters of brown and then it goes into the green. And then this is, the underneath it looks really nice as well. Some nice textures and they've done some more sculpting in the underneath of the belly compared to a lot of the other dinosaurs to come out with. And then there is some um, more scale detailing on the jaw. It looks very impressive. I think it looks really nice. Um, I like these little ridges underneath the mouth. Even the underneath of the feet have got some scale detailing. Really lovely done. It's Mattel's done such a good job. The um, feet, the claws are painted, but that doesn't bother me. It um, camouflages very well with the feet. And yeah, there is the Jurassic World Facts app card there. So you can pause my video and scan away. And then there is the Jurassic World symbol there. Looks very awesome. And then it's also got a bits of freckling throughout the skin as well. If you look closely, bits of freckling throughout the skin, which Mattel's been known to do that. And then the tail has this um, speckles of brown going down, fading into this swampish green. And the tail is the bit what I really love because it's got really nice scale detailing and then there's the button it's blended really well as always Mattel blends these buttons uh they don't look noticeable and then it's got some really lovely spike detailing throughout the tail at both it, both sides and just some awesome textures throughout the figure as well with like little sad little bumps as well it's just the added little textures, um, some extra little bits of um, bumping around these sides as well. And overall, I just think that the figure is just amazing for the sculpt. So I'm not going to talk much more about the sculpt. Um, but 
I'm going to show you the articulation. So as you can see, it can move its legs that far forward. It can move it that far back. Um, for a creature to be so low to the ground, it's good that they've added articulation like this. They can it can even move its feet and the legs out there like that. And then they're on a swivel as well. And then you've got the back legs. They're a bit stiff, but they oh no, it's like a lock-in um, mechanism, so your legs can stay like that. And then when you unlock it, it can push out like that. So you can move the legs that far back. You can pretty much go all the way around, but I wouldn't like to do that. Um, and then it locks back into place, and then the thigh moves in and out. So they've even added thigh in articulation. It's like on a little um, joint to move up and down. And then the same goes for this side as well. Locks in and moves side to side. And then there is the same goes there. Out like that as well. And then the really cool thing about this figure is I like the action feature. So the action feature, you can hold the tail. You can move it side, side to side like that. And then you can move the when you move the head side to side, you can press the button what's on the tail and press down and it'll move its jaw up and down and it's got that really good chomping action and I wouldn't like to be in front of this dinosaur because it'd take your head off. <laughs> so yeah, that looks really cool. I love the way it actually moves as you move the neck and it's got that really nice movability and I also love how the sculpts around the neck um when you move it you can it doesn't show no actual joints there so that is nicely camouflaged very well with the neck so yeah it looks really uh, cool and i can't really say anything else about this figure and the face expression overall looks really menacing and um, a lot of people was like it looks quite cartoonish. I can see how we, people can say that but I also think it look, does look very menacing. Like it looks angry in the around the face area there. And I like the way it do bits in around the eye and it's got these really nice textures of scale detailing. So, that's the figure all reviewed. I am going to quickly do a size comparison with maybe um, the T-Rex and a human. So I'll be back in a sec. And this is a quick size comparison with the chomp, chomping T-Rex. And I think it looks really good at scale size. That looks absolutely awesome. This, these figures are going to look so good in photography. And overall, Mattel's done another brilliant job. And yeah, so this is a quick size comparison. Obviously, it's a lot lower, but it's pretty much nearly the same length. But it's just, this it stands a lot taller. Um, and that would probably drown the T-Rex in water with its little arms. It can't even swim. So yeah, this is just a size comparison. Now I'm going to do one with a human figure so this is a size comparison with dr alan granite and this this looks so cool and um, i wouldn't like to face this if i saw this in real life so alan you better get running and um, this is a really good size comparison as well with the human figures there it is to the head and the jaw it just crush him in half <laughs> and then that's how it'd look like, like that. I'm just gonna put this down for a sec. Oh. And bye-bye, Alan. Oh, he escaped. And there he is, gone. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a size comparison. But overall, this figure, I would give an absolute 10 out of 10 for everything. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this review. And my overall thoughts on the figure is 10 out of 10 for everything. The action feature actually makes more sense with this type of um, 
dinosaur um, because of its big elongated jaw which looks absolutely awesome. The sculpt is a 10 out of 10. The paintwork is a 10 out of 10. Articulation is 10 out of 10. And it's definitely worth adding to your Jurassic World collection like 100%. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit my alarm bell for more toy related stuff. I will have this amazing figure linked in the description box down below. And there isn't much more I can say. Um, I've got more Jurassic World stuff coming up soon. And one more thing before I end the review, I'd just like to say thank you to Mattel. Um, they're doing such a brilliant job at bringing out, out, trying to bring out different species of different dinosaurs. Um, I know they've done a lot of repaints, but now this year they seem to have done really well and to try and bring them out a bit more quicker for the UK. Um, and it makes my channel a little bit happy. I'm hoping that it stays consistent like this so I can get reviews out for you guys. And yeah, there ain't much more I can say. So see you on the next one, guys. Bye.